Hi, I'm Ted from EverythingAttachments.com, here with Courier Implement Company. Uh, we're here on my bad boy mower that I use to mow with at the house, and I've got some really steep berms at my house, and so uh, a couple of times I've slid off, almost hit the mailbox, hit a car. Luckily, I don't have water at the end of my house, a pond or anything. Uh, one of my friends was just killed uh, at Lake Hickory a couple of months ago uh, on a different brand of mower, and he didn't have any type of brakes. Uh, uh, it maybe could have saved his life. As you can see, if I let off the brakes, this mower will roll. It's pretty simple. When you're going downhill, the weight is going to transfer to the front wheels, not the rear, giving you less traction on the rear when you try to stop. You're just going to be spinning backwards. And when that weight is transferred to the front, then these brakes really give you a lot of stopping power. And, um, you know, this could be easily the difference between saving your life and not. Uh, it also, if you're mowing down a very steep hill and don't want to constantly slide the rear tires and leaving marks just to go slow like you need to, you can apply some front brake pressure and be able to hold the mower on the hill as you go down without leaving tread marks from the rear, just simply trying to, to let you go down the hill softly. So it does two things. It saves your turf on, on bad ground and we'll go over to some really steep areas and show you that. And it simply may be the difference between going in the river and killing killing yourself or something or not, where it's maybe just hitting the mailbox or a car, that could be replaced, but it sure beats having to pay for it or getting killed if, if you're in the wrong position. So we're going to show you how they work here on pavement. This is a full, uh, full suspension uh, front uh, easy ride on this machine. Uh, so. It still has its good ride and it has brakes. There's a lot of different ways we could do the brakes. I've got the patent on the brakes in general going through the spindles, but in right now I'm using an old-fashioned Flintstone style drag brake and uh, we could put a drum brake or a disc brake or anything and any time we'll do that. We're basically using a, a a race car master cylinder under the floorboard here running the hydraulic lines down through the center of the spindles uh, and then uh, have a slave cylinder on the other end and that's a swivel there on the top. Uh, to me, I wonder why a lot of people haven't thought of this before. As many people has been has been killed on these. In almost every case, I've never really heard of someone being the machine rolling over and killing them on the side of a hill. It seems to always be that it goes into water, flips over, and you can't get out. And the the key to these brakes are to keep you out of the water. So we're going to give this a try. Let you see how it works. This machine will run about 15 miles an hour, maybe a little bit more. So at 15 miles an hour, this will still get the job done. So we think this will save a lot of lives. We're going to take it over, use it on some really steep hills, and uh, give you an idea what it can do for you. Hi, I'm Ted. Uh, I'm here to show you the Ted brake today. This is a brake that we've designed to put on the front of a zero turn mower to be able to help you stop in situations that could be for safety to keep you from going in a pond or to simply let you be able to mow better. A hill like this, which is really steep, I'm not sure the exact, exact grade, but it's somewhere near 30 degrees. It, I either have two choices without front brakes. I either go down pretty fast or I don't go at all. Uh, trying to go down slow, I'm going to leave a lot of ruts. It's going to do some sliding and it's going to leave some tire prints. And so for general mowing and using this besides the safety, I'm going to be able to go down this 30% grade using just about half the brake pressure, just putting some resistance, not trying to slide the front tires or try to slide the rear tires and go down this bank uh, and leave the turf good. 
Now, it's been, we had a nine degree night last night in North Carolina. It's still only about 26 degrees, but the radiant heat from the sun has uh, unthawed at least the top couple inches of this ground. So we've picked today to be probably the worst day that we could pick, which is going to be, we've got frozen underneath, soft on top, this red clay slick, it's still moist. We just had rain a few days ago, but the top surface is definitely thawed out. This is as bad and as slick as you're going to get. It, so we figured it was the best day to try it. So I'm able to stop. I've got one wheel off the ground. I've got one wheel really holding good there. But without the front brakes involved, I'm going to be sliding the rear wheels. So I'm able to stop anywhere I want to on this hill. And as you can tell, the weight's going to transfer to the rear wheels going up. It's almost picking the front end up going up this hill. But Bad Boy is pretty much notorious for being able to stick on, the, on a hill better than anyone else. So it's pretty slick here. But I'm going to come down at a decent speed and then try to just stop. And I'm able to do it, and I don't think any more without the front brakes is going to be able to do this. It may make a little bit of um, impressions in your ground at some places, especially right now when it's the worst it could be. But it's going to be, if this was a, a, a pond or a pool or a car or a mailbox or anything, being able to stop is a lot better with a little bit of ground disturbance than hitting whatever would be in front of you. And I can get it stopped. I'm sliding a long ways. Now let's try it with the, with the brakes. So I was able to stop just clearly a lot quicker. right now going on for the turf and that's not the idea it's just to see if you can stop and I can and without the brakes it just isn't going to be able to to do this you know will your mower stop on a hill like that starting at 10 miles an hour without the brakes I doubt it I'm going to go to the other side, come back down this hill at full speed, and try to stop. And we'll be running about 15 miles per hour. And we did clear up a little turf. We slid the front tires. But if that was the pond in front of me, I didn't go in the pond, and that was a lot better. That's what you call stopping on a hill with a zero turn mower where no other mower is going to do. This is the TED brake and we're going to say that for all the manufacturers and for all you owners out there, this, this brake system is available and can be put on any zero turn mower with a 360 degree spindle. We hope that you call your manufacturer or whomever mower that you like to, to mow with. We personally like Bad Boy and we're a dealer, but we want you to ask your dealer for safety, you know, where are your front brakes available to you? Because they should be on every mower before you take it home and use it. Even it'll make it slide a little sideways because the front's grabbing so good. All that weight transfers to the front after you're uh, headed downhill. This 
ground, it's just mushy under the front edge of it. And you may tear a little turf up, but it beats hitting the car, the mailbox, or something else. On the other hand of tearing the turf up is I'm gonna go down it slow like I normally would be, and I'm gonna use some front brake pedal and just be able to let the front brakes keep me from letting the rear tear the turf up and still go down the hill slow. That's the way you stop with a dead brake.